Mr. President, want to hear from Tim Cook and the other executives today, and what does he want to tell them? Well, I think that um, what he wants to tell them is that um, the, the United States, uh, the federal government, is fully committed to doing its part to invest in the country and to lay the foundation for a thriving and growing semiconductor industry um, and more broadly a thriving and growing set of industries connected to you know the core areas where we see economic opportunity in the future to include clean energy um, and that um, uh, they can uh, operate now with a degree of certainty that would you know uh, so many operating company businesses tell me and, and, and that what they need is certainty. And now on the back end of the legislative uh, efforts that we have pushed through, they have long-term certainty that there will be capital on the table, that there will be a partner for investing in workforce and the training necessary uh, to build, um, you know, to, to, to get the talent that they uh, need. Um, and that there are long-term tax incentives uh, for them to build and grow in the United States. So that's what he's going to uh, underscore to them. Um, and also to make clear that he wants uh, these companies to build and grow in, the, in America. Um, we're seeing them make those announcements, but he's, uh, he, wants to, uh, he wants to see them continue to do that. We're going to be a partner to that, uh, but we're also going to have high expectations for that. You, you, so one of you mentioned this sort of, um, you know, the idea of um, uh, this CHIPS bill is anything, you know, far from uh, corporate welfare. There are strong requirements associated with any company that is going to receive funding under this, um, and we're going to um, and we're going to stick true uh, to uh, the legislative intent. I think what he hopes to hear from them is number one <laughs> uh, to understand their commitment and their plan, um, uh, but also to hear you know as he often does in these environments to just hear very candidly from them um, what are they concerned about, what do they see on the horizon, um, uh, what are they planning for. Um, where do they see the biggest challenges and where can we more effectively partner together? I was just talking to, you know, Senator Kelly, who's here on, on the plane, about how to, how, how on the ground the Arizona delegation is helping unleash extraordinary educational resources that this state has with ASU and community colleges and otherwise. That when you get um, states, localities, universities, community colleges, businesses working together, oftentimes you can make things happen that people previously thought were, you know, um, uh, hard to do or impossible to do. So that's the other thing he's going to want to hear from them.